right, hello. Uh, who, who do I have? Hello, who do I have? You guys hear me okay? Yo! It's good to have you here. Okay, so I have... Good, good. I have played this before, but I played it a couple years ago, and I am not the best at remembering how puzzles work, so I may have to look things up at some point, but I shouldn't have to. Alright, I can wait for you. Let me know when you're back with headphones. Hey, Everlyn. Uh... Man, I need to get better at, like, just saying things. Um, it's a good game. Uh, you should all find follow Gowan's example and get headphones so that you can appreciate the soundtrack and the impeccable sound design. Uh, like, I love this game. I would love this game even if it has shit sound design, but it doesn't have shit to sound design. It has the best sound design ever, and I love it. Okay. Okay, let's do this then. Hello there, Lucas. Hey. A bit from stone, like a timer from stone. Yeah, it's a little bit on the way. Försiktig, du behöver inte gå ner. Jag vet, men du kan vara lugn. Mm. Jag har varit där för jag vet vad som behöver göras. Jag vet. Nu tror du det gick. Men, eh, jag kämpar emot lite, men eh, ja, jag har lyckats med något åt det hållet. Yes. Ta henne dit och... Nej, men jag bryr mig faktiskt inte om vad han har att säga om det här. Jag, jag har ingen aning, men något måste göras åt det här. Som jag sa, någonting måste göras åt det här. Du kan inte fortsätta på samma sätt. Ja, klart som fan jag kan. Ja, någon måste ju ta tag i det här. Inte så att ni gör något. Ja. Det kommer funka. Jag har med mig allt som behövs. Jag... <skratt> Yeah, it kind of is a murder icon. To be fair, to be fair, he did kidnap us. What fun? Are you not done? Oh, 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 Vad fan håller du på med? Oh, jag kan inte fatta det. Du fucking kidnappade du mig! Du kidnappade dig. Du kan få fan i det håller på med! Du kan få fan i det håller på med! Du kan få fan i det håller på med! Du kan få Du kan få fan i det håller på med! Du kan få fan i det håller på med! Du det här är mitt problem! Att vara fast i en skog mitt ute ingenstans med min idiot till brorsa. Det är mitt jävla problem! Jag ville bara hjälpa dig, men... Du och din jävla hjälp kan ta och dra men, åt helvete, Lukas! Det är ingen roll nu, ja. Okej, okay. borde börja röra på oss. Siblings, am I right? Snabbare vi kommer härifrån, desto bättre.
Jag hörde det där. Ja, bra, jag kan inte fatta att du gjorde det där. Gud, du är för fan dött. <laughs> I honestly don't remember if we're supposed to be following him at this point. Um, I assume so because he's the only one with a light. Lucas, vänta. Förlåt att det blev så här. Hej, Oz, jag good to see you. Och jag visste inte vart jag var. Jag blev så rädd mm. och allt bara hände så fort. Och... Jag vet du, jag tänkte heller. Jag, jag ville bara hjälpa dig med ditt beroende. Mm. Ja, först måste vi ta oss ur den här skogen, sen... Um... Det här påminner mig om skogen på det där lägre på galjan. Du vet, utanför den där sjön... Uh, örken? Ja, du, du, du kommer ihåg det alltså. <laughs> ja, jag får fortfarande mardrömmar om spökvandringen på det lägret. This really is such a sibling interaction. Like, one of them kidnapped the other, and now they're going to missing about camp. Vi borde verkligen ta oss härifrån. Hur vet du det? Strömmen kan jag ha fört oss hur långt som helst. Alla de där åren på scoutlägren här, vet du. Jag lärde mig någonting i alla fall. Why would you be scared of a bee? It's just a bee. Look, it's a friend. Ah, uh, the light moved on. Nu är du väl glad att vi var på alla de där scoutlägren, eh? Jag kommer vara glad när vi kommer ut ur den här skogen. Ah, <laughs> uh, to be fair, this is like a Swedish game. For all we know, the Swedes do just hang out in woods at night all the time. Oj. Jag håller ju lampan. Så. Du först. Oh, jävlar! Oh, Not have been a bee, might have been a fly. This is just what siblings are like. Oh, that was a, a, a dead thing, some sort of animal, I think. <laughs> Dead deer do not fist. <laughs> I 
I promise this is not just a walking simulator, it's just the opening is like this. Aha. Och nu då? Ska vi gå tillbaks? Ja, vi får väl vänta. Där. Det är det där trädet. Om vi så kanske vi kan välta det. Jag testar först då. Okej, kör. We're having a great time in the woods. Jag hittar en annan väg. Do I cross here? I think I cross here, yes. Uh, we literally do not have the option to go back. We are split up now. Anyway, watch me get lost for a bit before I remember how to get to wherever we're getting to. Nej men det fanns ingen väg där heller. Jag måste fortsätta här. Jag följer floden här. Försök hitta en väg över längre fram. Lycka till. I love it when the game tells me I'm doing things right. Anyway, uh, a lot of this game is uh, very, I'm fully bad, uh, fully aware that this is a really bad idea, but what other choice do I have? I don't think we need to be running just yet. Well, I guess we could run across here if we really wanted. Uh, see that green friend over there? Uh, when I was playing this for the first time, I was playing it with someone. Uh, and it was with someone whose philosophy is that you should die to everything once, just to see what it's like. Uh, so I have a bunch of deaths in this game that uh, I wouldn't necessarily otherwise have. Uh, anyway, I took one look at this thing and I went, that's a will-o'-wisp. And my friend went, what are you talking about? And I said, if we go into the light, we're going to die. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> that was, I think, my first death in this game. Am I going the right way? Yes. The crocodile hunter method. <laughs> Anyway, that's another thing I really like about this game, is that it gave us the run prompt and the keybind uh, before we actually need it. So we're not going to be as panicky in the moment. Where was I? Oh yes. I will... <clears throat> broken but hey what's this <laughs> which sound are you talking about Gowan okay that's missing something uh, there's totally an order to this and I think there's a way to find out the order uh, and, and it is missing a piece. <laughs> I 
What, you don't like weird screeching? There we go. Are you a door? You are a door. Open. All right. We've got all sorts of things we can find. We've got all sorts of things we can look at. Most of them aren't worth anything. Looks like someone left in a hurry. Gambling away, my weird doll. Divine sacrifice, the sacred rules. Uh, see, none of that is what I came in here for. Well, some of it might be what I came in here for. I did get an item. Time to go see if we can put that item to use. Okay, that's Huggy Friend. And I think Huggy Friend circles this place. But I don't remember in which direction. So let's just see how far we can get. <laughs> I'm sorry about the camera. I'm just like this. Or rather, first person games are just like this. Come on. Oh, did you go? Okay, let's try that. I was gonna make that actually. I thought I was gonna have to try again. Anyway, we're having a fun swamp journey now. Listen to that guy. Okay, thank you guys. See you later. Yeah, the music's really nice. I like the music a lot. Mm, 
Yeah, I guess technically it is a cage. But now we're not in it anymore. Now we're in a new place. The Drowned Spirit. The drowning ghost trapped in the marsh protects the territory around its body. Those who come too close will be possessed and destroyed in horrific ways. So that's, that's our friend that we just saw. Odin's Knowledge, Volume 15. And here's Divine Sacrifice again. I think we see that, that book a few more times. It's the Holy Duty. Uh, is there anything else around here, or should I just keep going? Looks like that's a just keep going. I don't remember exactly what order things happen next in. Well, that's not a way we can go. This way. That looks like something. But it doesn't look like a something we can reach quite yet. Come on. I did all the things right. Which way am I going? I guess maybe I can fit through here. <sighs> okay. <sighs> There's a light flashing over there. Go see what's happening here. Absolutely nothing is happening here, but it's saved, so I think we're going in the right direction. Okay, yeah, those look to be our signals for which way to go. I, I guess... Let's see. Okay, this guy comes after me. I'll probably die to him a couple times just because I don't remember the good route. It's our new friend! Uh, no, the drowned thing was the one that we saw before. This guy is... I don't remember what this guy is, but he's something else.
Oh, this guy's a giant. Yep, I hear you, musical sting. So that guy's going to be looking for me. I'm not sure exactly when he's going to find me again. At some point, I think I'm going to have to run. The sound cues are pretty good for telling when he's close. I think I have to turn here. I seriously thought that guy was going to follow me more. Did I misremember? I totally remember having to, like, hide from him. Look at that friend. afraid. Either we die or we don't die. There's not a thing that fear can change about that. Thank you game for these little light checkpoints to let me know I'm going the right way. I am not very good at navigation. <laughs> around here? I think we continue around here. We might have to hop across those instead. Uh, but I don't think we have to. Yeah, okay, we might have to. Alright. Let's see, where are we supposed to hop across? Wonder what our brother is up to at this point. I 
I think maybe I was wrong about that. Okay, where do we cross here? That's not right. Yeah, I'm okay with clips. Go ahead and clip things. Popularize my content. There we go. This sign says. Helberg the phone. Okay, so we're going this way. Now I've got telephone wire from Fun Home stuck in my head. That's really not an appropriate song here. doesn't look too promising. Can we come around this way? Yes. That looks like a place that might have a phone. Oh, the sound design here is so good. I don't really remember this location though. What is this? It's a drowning warning. And here's some more will o wisps. It is good philosophy, and also it's good fun. Diverged into a yellow wood. And I picked one at random because I don't remember if they both go to the same place or not. Looks like maybe the other one goes properly across the river. Did I just imagine there were two? I guess this might be you picked one and now you have to deal with it. I, I love the will-o-wisps. They're just sitting there. 
Uh, and I wouldn't have died to one unless I, like, deliberately tried it, but I did die to one from deliberately trying it, and I think that is very good game design. Hello, friend. do gotta fuck around and find out every now and then. Uh, let's see, that's Crouch. I think the wind is laughing at us. That's probably a sign that we're going in the right direction. Also, the fact that there are still, like, river crossing bridges. That's also a sign that we're going in the right direction. Somehow I doubt we're going to find the phone, though. Here's our brother. Our brother found a monster. Ah, uh, shit, which way did he go? Like around him this way. It's not Technoblade. Okay, there he is. See, nice good look. Look at that friend. I was gonna say that Technoblade would never be a horror game enemy, but then I remembered about him endurance hunting Quackity. Alright, where is that brother o' mine? Jag vet inte, jag såg den innan också. Den här skogen är full av såna saker. Vi måste röra oss vidare. <laughs> Technoblade is a horror game enemy only for Quackity. True, true.
Don't you love when your flashlight goes out and you're being chased by monsters uh, from Scandinavian folklore and you're in a tunnel with your brother who kidnapped you? Don't you hate when that happens? Okay, sure. I'm glad we can all agree that that happening is a very hateable thing. going as fast as the game lets me go. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Shouting is just waiting, wasting breath. This is one of the parts that I had to get someone else to do for me because I physically couldn't make myself hit the button. You guys ready? hate it when your brother brother begs for you to mercy kill him after you've been chased by a horrible uh, thing from folklore and he kidnapped you and all the other stuff that happened. Don't you hate when that happens? Guardian. Nakin. By the altar, the wrath of Freya work, awoke, and she conjured fire from her wrath and burned his eyes and hands so he could never play the magic harp again. Odin's Knowledge, Volume 3. Broken glasses. Boys find large footprints in the forest. The large man, the large man who resides in the woods, is ferocious and very dangerous. However, he is very easy to spot and to hear because of his large body and clumsy footsteps. Odin's Knowledge, Volume 16. Not sure what that is. Uh, those look like runes. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ooh. Collectible. I love the art in this game. Ooh. I love when we find things. Look at that. Divine sacrifice, the sacred rules. Hunting, flaying, and cutting up, living off the forest. Instructions on how to survive in the forest. We could use that. And I can't see for shit. Can't stop dreaming. Uh, nothing good, that's what's going on in this room. Phone, guardian, clock tower, blacksmith, storage, let me see. Little ones of Freya. Drawbridge. Hall of the Harp. Okay, this is a map. Watch me get super lost anyway. I don't think there's anything in here. I was wrong. There was a creepy voice in here. Um, I think we're supposed to give this tree a match, but we don't have any matches yet. Girl really hates bugs, huh? Well, she's having a time. Can you really blame her? Uh, there are a bunch of trees that talk. Uh, there's... I think a guide to finding them all, which I meant to look up at some point, uh, but I'm not gonna bother to do that now. Well, that's rude. Evil fairy tales. Helga Salberg's collection of fairy tales about the evils that fall upon the ones that meet Sweden's most evil beings. Oh good, finally we've got matches. Uh, we've got a limited number of those. Light match, okay. It's left mouse button and then extinguish them is, the, is gonna be the right button. Okay, what else do we got here? More soup. What's through here? What's 
that the phone? So now we know what our task is. Uh, so this is where we're going to call for the boat when we get to do that. Uh, but we don't have all the stuff for it yet. Hey, little horsey. I used to have uh, some of these, but they were, I think, uh, Polish in origin and slightly different. Our task has always been hug the friends. You're right. You're right. How could I forget? Okay, so yeah, this is where we call for the boat, but we need the harp to do that, and we don't have the harp yet. We do have the match now. this is the right way. Yeah, that's not the right way. you're enjoying me trying to figure out where things are. Okay, uh, uh, light a match and then easy to kite once you know where she is. Det var det mest underliga jag har hört. Såna vackra tunnor. Var tog det väl? Okay, that's gonna be the guardian. This is the clock tower. Or no, uh, wait. Oh, there's the guardian. We're heading towards the clock tower. We need to get to the Hall of the Harp. Polite monster waits for you to read the map. That that is what this game is like sometimes. Both letter. The vanishing of Ruth Alkvist, new leads. Cry out to the public. Monster chivalry. Chivalry is dead because the monsters are dead. 
Divine Sacrifice again. Honestly, shouldn't be using the matches at this point. Uh, but that was worth it. I don't want to play in the forest anymore. So it's sort of Silent Hill vibes with the gathering info about sacrifices and old disappearances. Yeah, it kind of really does. I played this before I played any of the Silent Hill games, though. Uh, so this is another thing that I really, really like about this game, is that all of these drawings that look like kids' drawings uh, were drawn by the adult developers on the team. Uh, but I genuinely thought, until I you know, straight up asked, I genuinely thought they had gotten some kids to, to draw them because they're so realistically kids' drawings. I mean, look at this. They nailed it. Hymns and ballads. Homeschooling. Curriculum for the year 1942. That's a... Mm, that, that's not very recent. Uh, no, I don't know the developers, but I joined their Discord for the uh, express purpose of asking whether they got kids to draw the uh, artwork here. Uh, they're chill people. They've done a couple other games since this one that I need to sit down and play at some point. <laughs> A-plus mothing. Yeah, that is, that is the sort of thing that I would do. Probably a raccoon. Guess we need a different key for that. Okay, here is some more matches. One more match. Uh, but I don't think we have the rest of the stuff we need for that. Here's the blacksmith, okay. So now we are over here. I honestly don't remember what we get here or if we need anything from here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, it was gonna pop out, but she's looking at the map, gotta wait. Yeah, yeah, you, you gotta wait. It's only polite to wait until someone's done reading the map. They gotta know where they're dying. Blacksmith? I am 
Han har dömt dig i mörkret. I djupet. Evighet. Kommer vandra där tills världen är död. That's not ominous at all. Woman found walking naked in the forest. First I thought it was my Ruth. Okay, I guess that's it for the blacksmith. Ooh. Not sure what's happening here. I'm honestly surprised I haven't died yet, but I guess the game hasn't given me very many opportunities to do so and I haven't been like running into them like I did the first time I played. Uh, with the with the first monster with Huggy Friend way back at the beginning, uh, I died to it a few times because I just couldn't get the hang of uh, kiting around it to the. Um, I guess it's technically not a ski lift, but it's like basically a ski lift. <laughs> what exactly are you trying to bait the monsters into doing? writing. How did our ancestors write and talk? Gunnar Ekblad reviews ancient writing and language. Divine Sacrifice. Yeah, you're right. I haven't died yet. Uh, but like I said, I wasn't exactly running into the arms of the opportunity to do so. Tower, that's... okay, we've got... Blacksmith's up there. They're just shy? Yeah. They're having performance anxiety. We should be nicer to them. Okay, that's gonna be... Oh, Ragnar's mill. Okay. Hey, wasn't Ragnar the guy that the person on the phone thought they were talking to? Is my internet doing a thing? Storage. Oh, hey, Angel, it's good to have you here. Uh, 
how do I get into the storage? Hi. I guess that's all for storage. She's got incredibly shy monsters. Exhausted basically every other direction. A little one's afraid is this way. Okay. And then the harp hall is past the little ones of Freya. Oh yeah, uh, Ragnar was the guy that the person on the phone thought they were talking to, right? I'm not misremem misremembering that. Sounds bad. Don't you love a creepy swing set? I love a creepy swing set. He comes at night. Sorry, yeah, the trees talk to us. Mommy doesn't believe me, but I saw him. There's one of the goats. There's an achievement for finding three goat statues, but I don't know where the other ones are. Meatball monster, my beloved. Yeah, there's an achievement for finding finding the the three goats. Uh, like I think it's the, the three Billy Goats Gruff or like a Swedish equivalent. Wait, this is this taking me? Oh no, we're going in the right direction. Okay, I'm so good at this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
över vattnet, över bron, hitta där. All the monsters are just shy, they gotta spook us somehow, except Huggy Friend who came from Silent Hill and is overachieving. That tracks. Alright. So we're over at the drawbridge now. I cannot see anything. Belt is broken, there's a new one at the blacksmith. Because of theft, the cabinet is locked, the key is with the guardian, but we have the key. There's some more matches. Start the gasoline and power first. Okay. Well, time to head back to the all the way to the blacksmith. I knew we were missing something. Anyway, Silent Hill was fun. Did you know, um, in Silent Hill 2, uh, there's a point where Pyramid Head corners you and fights you, uh, and in theory you can kill him there, or, like, at least, uh, stop him debilitatingly, uh, but also if you just sort of kite him for, like, three minutes, he gives up and goes away. No, I'm telling you, in Silent Hill 2, there's a point. Yeah. If, if you just kite him for a few minutes, he gives up and goes away, and I think that's great. I love that for him. go. That's the belt. Punch clock villain. <laughs> um, so I also watched... He wasn't paid enough for overtime. I also watched both Silent Hill movies. Uh, and I actually like them quite a bit. I think they're very good for what they are. Uh, but uh, one of the major complaints I, I gather people have with them is that Pyramid Head shows up despite it not being uh, James Sunderland's story. Uh... But see, what I think happened is that the cult and... Pyramid Head accidentally uh, double booked their big villain appearances. Uh, so Pyramid Head showed up uh, to this fight that was supposed to be the cults and was just like, well, since I'm here anyway due to a scheduling error, I might as well hang out and have some fun. Wait, that's storage. Okay, the first Silent Hill movie is very good, but with the caveat, of you should skip all of the parts with the husband. Uh, if you just skip all of those, it's a very, very good movie. Dolly, I wouldn't trust a time management yet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They double booked, and then Pyramid Head didn't know that actually he had gotten kicked out of the time slot because the cult is rude and doesn't... Where am I? Oh, so that's my big headcanon for... That's my big headcanon for wh why Pyramid Head is in the Silent Hill movies. Okay. 
there's our new belt. Theft. Okay, start the gasoline and the power first. Uh, is this working? That sounds like it's working. Uh, this is gonna attra attract the attention of the monster I was, I believe, supposed to be kiting this whole time. Uh, and she's gonna come after us more properly now. In theory. In practice, the monsters seem to be really shy for some reason. Yeah, that's her. shy on their AIs. I don't think there's a setting for that, but it really feels like that's what I did, isn't it? Uh, doesn't it? Towards the Hall of the Harp. Man, we haven't been, been attacked even a little bit in this part so far. drug withdrawal walk through the forest. I mean. The key. The harp was formed from Yggdrasil itself, inserted with magical gold and carved with holy runes. The dwarves gave the harp to Freya, who picked strands from her golden hair and used them as strings, so the magic could flow through the powerful instrument. Odin's Knowledge, Volume 4. The Holy Duty. Here's some more matches. Sacrifice Rituals of the Antiquity, a review of the holy rites of Acer Faith. Today I hid from a bad man. Is that what the matchboxes do? They looked like they looked like they had like different numbers in them, so I thought they were just Oh come on. I hate game mechanics. I hate video games. Swedish Tales. I hate video games. Why am I doing this?
evil fairy tales. Uh, it's okay. We haven't been using all that many matches. go doing it again. I didn't know that was in there. Uh, the forest whispers are the trees. I should be I should be at max matches. Uh, if your theory is correct, I should be at max matches. The guide in the dark. The spirit who leads the wanderers in the dark can have good both good and evil intent. They can lead wanderers out of the dark, but also into an early death. Odin's Wisdom, Volume eighteen. check out what's behind door number two before we do the stairs. Well, that's not creepy at all. The Holy Duty. Yeah, we shouldn't we shouldn't need all that many matches and we're not going to be in this area for all that much longer. Uh so it should be fine. Okay, those are both stairs go to the same place and now we've got this door. Uh now this is a puzzle and I'm going to be bad at it. Uh but it's going to be fine. Ruth Alkvis found dead. The body was found with scratch marks around face, specifically around the eyes. I've never claimed to be good at video games. Uh... Well... Here's the harp everyone's been harping on about. No, I need this harp. Okay, I don't remember what the controls for the harp are. Uh... Hang on. Q, okay.
What are you talking about, Averlyn? <laughs> I'm not playing Zelda's lullaby. I forget what I'm supposed to be playing here, though. Huh. I didn't know it let me put the heart back. Oh, okay. Yeah, I really love this game. Hey, there's fire. No, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, each string has a corresponding rune, and I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to play. <sighs> But it's because I was supposed to put the heart back and do this first. And now we can take the heart for real. Yeah, so now it tells me how to toggle the heart. Okay, and that's going to be my first song. See, that rune by the door uh, tells us which song we have to play. The Holy Duty. Okay, and if you'll remember, back where we're supposed to call the boat, uh... There's a rune there, too. Okay, we've got... Now we get to head back and call the boat. I do really hope our, our this level friend comes at us at some point because we haven't even really seen her yet and she's pretty cool. How am I supposed to show this game off to my friends if the villains won't attack me? Time to jam and summon the Disney princess friends. Yeah, tempting, tempting. There she is. See, she's not hard to kite if you know where she is.
Alright, and we just go around here and then back to the clock tower and then back to the dock. Yeah, the forest went all red because she was real nearby. It's the it's the danger indicator. <laughs> Engage Freno Vision. Now we're back to the bridge. But yeah, that's the that's the trees talking to us. I think someone asked. See, you've engaged the running music. I don't think we can lift the bridge. Can we lift the bridge? I'm not like against it, it just didn't occur to me. Yeah, no. The vibes in this game are really good. I love that she screams when she runs at us. Lady, please, I'm trying to do things here. Okay, I might actually die here. That's fine though. How is she this close? Anyway, since I'm gonna die anyway, here she is. <laughs> I'm actually very fond of her screen because this is when I fell in love with the game's sound design, like, properly. Uh, because her scream is uh, very clearly, you, you know, horror game screams are meant to uh, 
uh, startle you and, and put you on edge and unfortunately a lot of people seem to think that that means you ought to make them really painful uh, to listen to. Uh, so a lot of horror games, they've got sound design, they've got screams that are just painful and bad and awful to listen to. And this game just went, you know what, we can do that without making it painful and bad to listen to. And I respect that so much. No. Okay, where's the sign? Uh, cause we need to get back to... Where we left our brother. It being quieter than the whispering is weird balance. I don't know, I really like it. I think it's it's the kind of wrong that feels correct. Also, Angel, I'm going to uh, shame you in my chat for uh, being into the murder lady. Oh, it means we're gonna go take out his eye and his tongue. He doesn't need them, he's dead. <laughs> it's okay, Angel, I love you, I'm just... It's the principle of the thing. I gotta mock you lovingly. Angel, this is exactly why I gave you a good look at the lady. Oh yeah, we had to mercy kill him. It was it was it was a time. That was actually one of the things that I wasn't able to do myself the first time I played this game. I literally had to hand the controller to someone else. Hey Oz, good to see you again. Why did Twitch just block out the words look at the lady and chat as derogatory just now? Ah, uh, good question. This game has such noises. Look at the lady. We are not allowed to perceive the woman. <laughs> All right, we should be good. It's an eyeball and a tongue. Teach us how to play the song. Okay, now we've got two songs. And we gotta head back towards the bridge. Where's the map? That's not a map. Perceiving women is bad. Was there not a- oh, is that the map? That's the map. Okay, we're supposed to go back towards uh, Guardian, because Guardian is where we found the phone, right? 
and that's about where the dock is. All right, that's nice. Let me just get inside here. <sighs> she does not respect our going inside. this house. Well, that's different. I'm trying to get my bearings, lady. It'd be really nice if you let me, like, actually do that. Wait, this is the blacksmith, isn't it? Where are we? I am so lost. Alright, yeah, that's the blacksmith. And when we were going in a circle, I think the blacksmith is the first place we got to. So now let's go um, counterclockwise. so bad at navigation. I just completely imagine a dog. I remember showing it off to you guys. Oh man. Wait, okay, here's where we came in, right? I mean, there shouldn't be that much of a delay. I am just not good at talking to the chat right away. Okay, is this the door we came into and then it got locked behind us? I think we finally made it. I think we finally made it. Yes.
Okay. Ragnar, play our song so we know it's you. The key to the drawbridge and the gate is with the guardian. And there's our shitty little raft. Not very what of her? Oz, what the heck emoji is that? Uh, she is a supernatural murder lady. I think it is implied that she is, uh, the deceased Ruth Alkvist. That's what happens when you type up bop in uppercase. What? Hey, remember this guy? You've been trying to make it the new Pog Champ. That's adorable. I love you. Ay, ay, ay. Stakash lilla flika. Det ser ut som att det smärtar. Men det är ingenting mot plågorna som märkas. Det skulle kunna lindra ditt lidande. Det du bär på. Om du skulle kunna skänka mig harpan far till den andra sidan och ge den till mig så ser jag till att du blir skonad från det som annars väntar dig. Om jag vore du skulle jag inte vänta för länge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy was totally naked. <laughs> yeah, naked man giving us deals. Uh, you can never trust a naked man. It's so you know he's honest? <laughs> mm. Okay, this part is fun. For, for a given value of fun. Okay, I think... Uh, no, put this... Let's toggle harp. A naked man can't lie. Curious thesis. 
Does that not work? I totally thought we could at least get through these gates. We have to play both in a row. Does it matter if we play both in a row? We need the tiny symbol. Oh, that's what I'm forgetting. Okay, yeah. Alright, that looks like one there. Pajamas allow us to lie. <laughs> there we go. Give us the little symbol. Where's the little symbol? Listen, it's important to note that the naked guy is evil. What is that? Oh, neat. I love when there's collectibles. But where's the other little symbol? And what is this? The curse. When she has given her sharp kiss, the poison spreads in the bloodstream and rots the soul, twisting one's bones so they sink into the earth. At last you transform into an unholy tree, forget who you are, and become hers forever. Odin's Knowledge, Volume 2. So yeah, uh, don't get bitten by the murder lady. That's rule number one. Okay, and this is giving us a new song. gonna become a tree friend that that does seem to be what is being implied here okay and I did remember it right that there were two sets of gates
Okay, I hear your chase music, but I don't think the guy has noticed me yet. There's our tiny room. There's one. <sighs> Tree stereo. I love when the music is like, run, run away, and the monster hasn't even seen us. Big man is right. Where's the little rune? There we go. Alright, we should have time. Alright, now let's get out of here. Do you know what you should do to a gentleman like that? Egg him in the knees! You're so right. Unfortunately, I have no eggs. Oh, well, now he's seen me. following me? Get lost. I thought I would do that. <laughs> just hug him. He obviously just needs a friend being stuck between two gates. You are so right. You are so right. Matchbox. Oh, 
<laughs> tiniest fall. It kind of was. What's the deal with that? Here, let me serenade you. Elephants, what are you talking about? The cure. She fell deeply in love with the false god and his corruption flowed through her, giving him influence over her and her powers, which he controls by his own will. Odin's Knowledge, Volume 5. Implying I would ever pay attention to noises. Don't get lost, don't get lost, don't get lost. Deser, lackeys of the Norns. A dis, the, a female spirit of the dead, is a slave to fate. They're under the influence of the Norns, carry out their wicked will, and see to it that the threads of life are spun as the three desire. Odin's Knowledge, Volume 20. Get well soon, Astrid. You will always be in our hearts. Helen Signy. Musical manuscript book. Harp. Dad says we'll go home soon. The punished. Shh, they can hear you. They were imprisoned deep underneath the ground, their souls warped, and they succumbed to evil altogether. In the dark, their eyes withered, and they learned to listen to the whispers of the mountain. And they are usually very good demons in SMT, the dis. What's SMT? Uh, kiddo, I don't think that's crying. Yeah, that, that does not look like crying. Shin Megami Tensei. Okay, I've heard of that ever. I want to go outside. You know when you're crying from your torso and your tears are red. Persona is part of another series or like a bigger series. Why is it that every time I <laughs> Why is it that every time I learn something about Persona I feel like I know less about it? Do you know I used to mix up Persona and Final Fantasy?
I can't live like this. Is Shin Megami Tensei the thing with the, like, dick on wheels enemy? Or am I mixing that up with something else? Sorry, that has nothing to do with anything. I'm sorry. Notes to not find next to a tall jumping point for 600 Trebek. They found Daddy. I wasn't allowed to look. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to be up here yet. I don't remember what we're doing. Yeah, we need something for that. Remember, all spare parts are kept in storage. Every time I learn something about Persona, I feel like I've learned less about Persona. Storage. <sighs> oh, it gives me little cues on the loading screen. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I'll I'll take you up on that persona info dumping at some point. Uh, not during the stream though. I should focus on the game I'm playing. Uh, do, do you, do you want to guess what the other moment that I had to hand the controller over to someone else was? Uh, because because this was the other moment where I had to hand the controller to someone else. I could do the whole thing where I like look desperately for other options, but uh, there there's no other options, and I'm running out of this match anyway. Uh, so here goes. I think we ran out of match before we did the thing. All right, one more. I know, I know, I know. I didn't want to do it either. I still don't want to do it. Oh, is that not it? Okay. We need, oh yeah, I think we need gasoline or something for that. Yeah, there's just a lot happening here, and none of it is very good. <sighs> yeah, like, I don't know what to tell you, but, like, you're, you're dead, your baby is dead, and I'm not dead yet. And I would like to continue to not be dead yet. Oh, I super do not remember what I'm doing. <laughs> Growth mindset. Yeah, if you get bit, you turn into trees or something. Okay, that doesn't work yet. Uh... Is there something else up these stairs, maybe? Do 
doing a fairly ridiculous amount of navigating in the dark because I don't want to <laughs> waste my matches. Okay, let's see. Is there something down here? There we go. Contagious tree. Yeah. Alright, we should be able to find something useful down this way. The more horrible part is did the kid get bit or did the mother just absorb the kid while transforming? Because if the kid got bit, there'd be two trees. Thanks, Averlyn. I didn't need to think about that. Thanks. Why did I extinguish the match? Okay, well there's a refill. Cloud of razor blades. The Natron is a creature with sharp claws and an outermost dangerous beak. They can be very dangerous, specifically in large numbers. Odin's Knowledge, Volume 19. It's like a first aid kit. Is that all that's back here? What did we come all the way out here for? came from, so we're going this way. Just enough light that you might be able to go through in the dark. Yep. Yep. That's... Why do I keep doing that?
There we go. Well, that got us mm, some information. Uh, not, not exactly. Uh, I couldn't find anything useful out there, and I didn't remember there being a water thing before, so I don't think it's necessary to go out there. I'm going to see uh, if there are other caves to go through. Yeah, no, I know exactly where I'm going, by which I mean I don't know where I'm going, but I know that it's probably not there, and I am going in a, to a place that is not there. Hi, I'm so good at words. Don't you love when there are noises? Maybe the gasoline was up the stairs. Like right at the top. Um, honestly, I was thinking that once I get to the next safe spot, I was going to stop and come back to this another time. Uh, because we're at about the halfway point. Um... But I don't really want to stop when I haven't gotten to a save point yet. Uh, if I don't find the gasoline soon, though, I'll probably call it a night. There may be gasoline up here. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, in that case, I do think I'm going to call it a night. Uh, I don't want to walk around looking for gasoline for another half hour. Uh, thank you everyone for coming. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, thank you everyone for coming. This was really fun. Uh, I'll play the other half at some point. I'll let you guys know when that is, when I decide when it is. Uh, th this was lovely and I can't wait to do it again. Alright, good night everyone.